Okay, greetings and peace to all you YouTube listeners. Welcome to the Committed Relationships and Spiritual Activity YouTube channel. I am your host, Neo, and I'm here to share some info with the people. All right, in this episode, I want to mention a, another psychological trap and this is the most effect the most important psychological trap that you must comprehend and too bad I didn't uh, start off with this before I even did my family trap psychological trap but I really wasn't worried about that at that time and really wasn't conscious of it but the, the family trap one was just one of the things that um, just popped in my head after a certain situation happened with one of my family members and I, and I just was like all right I gotta let people know about what's going on so that they could um, better protect themselves from dealing with certain family members and well the family in general who are still in their ego consciousness and this is where this episode right here I'm going to speak about the ego consciousness versus the higher spiritual consciousness and I'm going to do my best all right let's talk about this so the, the ego consciousness is the same thing as when I say people are in zombie mode so the ego consciousness my definition is this and this comes from me doing my years of studying um, spiritual 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 um spirituality learning more and more about that and hearing different people's uh, perspective and doing personal development my past personal development process and i got a lot of information from a variety of people on youtube that includes um dolores cannon that includes daryl daryl Inca, who channels the entity Bashar, he's really good at explaining about the ego, the ego mind, definitely. The, which is, is the ego mind is the physical mind. That's part of this physical matrix. But I'll go into more about that. And also Bobby Hemet, Bobby Hemet, I definitely have picked picked up brief information from him regarding the ego. And then after that, after a while, I just started. Yeah, and Brother Panic, for those people who know who those people are, who have heard of them. But anyways, after a while, within the time of me listening to this, I just eventually started to do even more self-reflection of myself so that I can analyze my own ego. And the other thing is, all of us go through our own spiritual awakening some of us awaken earlier within our life more than faster than others and before others just as everybody wakes up in the morning different at different times so you can't force people to wake up but only thing you can do is share information with people and those people who are already awakening or have awakened they'll be able to, they'll be interested in your information so that's why I'm sharing my information here from me studying my own uh, myself and just life in general and especially relationships I share that information here on my YouTube channel so that's why I'm unconcerned about um, having a massive amount of followers right now I mean subscribers right now because I know that this gonna it's, it's adding up eventually more and more every single day and I'm relaxed because you have the first things first. You got to get you have to start somewhere in life. That's the thing. Um, OK, so back to this. So ego consciousness and I got off the track a little bit. So ego consciousness. Sorry about that. Ego consciousness is what I um, what the ego is. It is I call it the psychological mechanism that we are. We all have. We all are attached to, and as long as you have a, a an individual has an ego, a human body, who was born into this realm, they have an ego. The ego is the human personality that you were born into, and that you call yourself 
that you consider yourself as. And it is your your avatar personality. So Mrs. Sally, um, let's see, Marquise, um, Chris, whatever you your name is, when you say that I am such and such, that is your ego speaking. And uh, everything in your life, your ego is attached to, that is your ego. And a lot of people's ego, egos gets them attached to a lot in this physical realm. So it is the psychological mechanism that keeps people human and keeps people having the human perception and having human thoughts. And it is the human consciousness. That's the best way to to describe it. It is the human consciousness. It's not the higher spiritual consciousness. The lower human consciousness is concerned about consuming new material things just to make them feel good. And to make them feel good is actually the ego. It's to make the ego feel, feel better about themselves so they can walk around and say, hey, I got me a new car. I got me more money than, uh, than such and such. I'm a CEO of a, of a company. I make a lot of money. I have a, a Acura. I have a... Um, what do you call those other ones? I I own an Audi R8. You know that that crazy ego stuff. Uh, a good person to give you an example who who's high in their ego is Tony Stark, Iron Man. He is highly egotistical. He does not do well with other people, and the people who are highly into their ego consciousness they rarely do well in relationships and also when people point out the faults of the other individual what the ego will do will have people go into self-denial immediately immediately and it prevents them from doing self-contemplation and then instead what they do is they point the finger at everybody else and they don't want to do anything to resolve the is- their own issues but they point everybody else to resolve their own issues this happens a lot and that is one of the top main functions of the ego when dealing when it has a person in a certain situation my i, I have done i have been in a lot of situations in the past with with people in that situation and that's why i tell people if you want to come out of your ego that's one of the top things you have to do you have to prevent it from your ego from um keeping you in self-denial so if people have been saying that you're one way in a relationship you you, whether it be you're selfish you're too into yourself and yada 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 if you hear here have heard that consistently then maybe you should stop and think about why they have been saying that, which they probably already mentioned it, but really think about it and really think where is the first place for you to start to be able to be more giving and or anything else that people say that you have been doing that has been sabotaging your relationships. Your ego will also keep you sabotaging relationships it keeps a person sabotaging relationships and that comes from a lot that does i mean that's for a lot of reasons whether it be selfishness um and even if a person is not selfish the ego is highly clever it'll also get a person to to be giving but is giving just to make the ego feel better and is not being a humble giving for the sake of being humble is being egotistical so that it can walk around and say oh i gave such and such this i did that i did this i did that it's it's a trick so you got to really really do self-reflection like okay hold on is this my ego or am i really humble to actually help these people and a lot of those people who are a part of volunteering groups a lot of them their ego has them doing that for the sake of they can walk around and say oh i volunteered at such and such and it's such a joy and yada 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 
that a lot of times is the person's ego consciousness. They're in that ego consciousness. And I want to say also the ego consciousness. Also, there's an energy that a person radiates whenever they're in their ego consciousness, which is it's like a zombie mode. That's why I call it zombie mode, because if you look at the movies and TV shows where they show zombies, it's it's like a a dead energy and it's like an automatic a automatic type uh, of consciousness they're not really thinking in manual mode or consciousness higher consciousness um, I'm gonna do a breakdown of a few other functions so it's high and there's so many functions of this goddamn ego I'm telling you there's I, I'll only mention some of the top main main ones um, it had, like I said, it has to do with everything dealing with the human consciousness. So that includes anxiety, that includes jealousy, envy, and um, the top main deadly sins that you may hear about. I think in the Bible might mention that. And I remember watching a Superman and Shazam animated cartoon where the wizard he listed out all of the seven deadly sins. And I know one of them was jealousy, greed. Yes. When you see a lot of people that are really greedy, whether it be food, money, uh, social status, you see those people obsessed with taking selfies. That is also a part of the societal matrix. It gets people's ego inflated when it comes to these selfies. And I think that's one of the reasons why the 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 app Snapchat Snapchat it inflates people's ego greatly greatly and it's so ridiculous like you can go on Facebook and see how many people are so obsessed with taking pictures of themselves self obsession is the ego so when you see all them people with all them goddamn unnecessary Photos and they keep taking photos of themselves over and over again rather than just having a certain a decent amount on your page, leave it alone and every so often add new photos of yourself, but it's unnecessary to keep adding photos every single day or every other day. That is the ego. So when you see people that are doing all all of those things unnecessary, especially they they just sitting around watching TV or just adding photos of themselves for no apparent reason that is their ego and that's why i highly discourage teen dating the teen in the teenage stage a lot of times you got some people whose ego will come in at the teen stage like thir at 13 and then you got some of them where it comes in a lot earlier like at age seven it comes in at different ages and the I'm telling you the TV like as I said in, in my societal uh, what do you call it my societal matrix video my audio that I recorded go check that out the TV and a variety of things within society it inflates people's ego and which that's main the main goal of the matrix here and it encourages people's ego to get started early. And then sometimes you have some people's ego, some young people's egos who start at the age of three. It's really, really ridiculous. If not three, like before seven. So that's why I encourage people to avoid letting their children watch TV and even go into public school before the age of seven. Before within the ages of seven, the first seven years, that is the most fertile ground for a person's subconscious mind. Whatever it is that a per, that the parents of a child, however they want their child to be developed, be de psychologically developed into, those are the years to start the developing. And they want to avoid allowing their child to be a immature brat. Immaturity in general, they want to discourage immaturity. And they want to raise their children into psychological mature adults. 
a lot of these parents who are having these children, they have been having these children while they are in their ego consciousness, their lower human ego consciousness that is programmed with societal beliefs from the societal matrix. And the societal matrix is not looking to raise people up into psychological mature adults. That is why individuals have to wake up and start doing their personal development process so that they can exit outside of their ego consciousness and be able to be aware of when they're in their ego consciousness versus their higher spiritual consciousness. Now, let's go into the higher spiritual consciousness. Now, the higher spiritual consciousness is your non-physical self, the, the, the spiritual entity that is the real you and that really does ha does not have much concern about this physical realm but it, it does have a concern to give you your main necessities so that you can survive adequately throughout this this realm and throughout your life the more a person reaches higher spiritual consciousness the m which is authentic consciousness and when they reach it authentically rather than just walking around allowing their ego to say that they're in a higher consciousness because the ego will also influence a person to believe that they're in higher spiritual consciousness but they're still in ego consciousness mode this is some serious stuff i'm telling you i'm definitely telling you and a lot of these spirit, so-called spiritual teachers, these t people speaking about metaphysics on YouTube and teaching a lot of things on YouTube, a lot of them are still in their ego consciousness, whether they realize it or not. And the higher the, the spiritual consciousness you are into, the less you care about obtaining and having material possessions. Those people who are running around talking about being being wealthy and being obsessed with being wealthy and having prosperity and all that stuff, which it's OK to be that. But as, but as long as you are balanced within your consciousness and you aren't trapped in materialism, which that is a trap, as I mentioned in my societal matrix recording now that's different so and also the higher spiritual consciousness you, every single day you'll start to think about something spiritual or something that's of a higher consciousness than then the mundane stuff that your ego consciousness will keep you obsessed with the other thing i want to mention too is a lot of people who are sports fans who are hardcore sports fans they are in ego consciousness and I can give you my example from my experience. I used to be a heavy New York Giants fan, a uh, NFL fan here in America. I used to really, really love the Giants. My uncle was a Giants fan. My aunt probably still is a Washington Redskins fan. So I loved the Giants. I even had uh, posters up. Uh, I would always talk about the Giants. I would always check out their their channel on the their page on the um, one of the NFL websites where they showed a lot of videos of each of the teams. I would always stay updated with that. I was just obsessed with it. But then after a while, I gradually got into higher consciousness and I started to realize like, huh. I'm not really into football like I used to. I don't even, yeah, and then gradually I didn't even care about talking about it. So where all the way till now, it really doesn't matter if I watch football or not, or even speak about it or not, because I go through weeks sometimes not even thinking about it. Because sports is of the mundane, this mundane physical realm. It's a realm, realm, R-E-A-L-M, just as Thor said. This is Midgard. He's right. It's a realm. It's not a, it's a, it's a realm that is only perceived, it's only perceived as real 
based off of your physical brain. It is your brain that your brain and your ego consciousness that believes that this is real. This is only an illusion. Your ego does not want you to get into higher spiritual consciousness because it knows that once it gets into higher spiritual consciousness, as once you as the individual gets into that, you will realize that your ego is not you and you will realize how long it has hijacked your higher from your higher consciousness from coming in to be able to give you the real deal information about this this illusionary world that we live in that is filled with what ancient scripture says maya illusion that keeps you trapped and obsessed with this illusionary world psychologically and emotionally attached and obsessed with it so it'll hijack it and then when you are in your ego consciousness you don't perceive you're less likely to perceive who are the right people to associate yourself with but then when you come into higher spiritual consciousness then you'll wake up and start realizing like oh my god why was i hanging around with such and such so long why was i in a relationship with him why was i in a relationship with her and one of the first things if not the first but eventually you start to even realize your family members the things that they have been doing in in your relationship in general and that has been sabotaging your relationship and making things difficult and you'll realize all of the anxiety that your ego mind had you in your ego consciousness had you in it is a lot that you will realize once you come outside of it and for me once i came outside of it i started to clean up all of the different relationships the toxic relationships regardless of who it was in my family and so-called friends associates and I'm a lot more conscious now of who I decide to get involved with relationship wise. And I always make sure that I identify who's in ego consciousness versus spiritual consciousness. And most people are in ego consciousness. And that's why I'm not really in a rush to get involved with relationships with other people. And that's why I'm highly comfortable being single because I see what's going on with a lot of females here in America. So that's why I always make sure that I do my examination first. I do my recon first before I pursue a female. Just like I did earlier today. today um, there was this one. Yeah, let me give you an example. There's this one female that I seen at, uh, at the mall a few weeks ago. And I seen her around my, my city here on this side of town that I live on and I seen her walking with her friend I would always consistently see her walking with her friend or maybe it was her cousin but with some other female and both of them are was they so beautiful and exactly the type that I like they get they got pretty much everything that I like physically but I know the importance of reading an individual a woman before I pursue and I knew by looking at the eyes of her friend and how she rolls her eyes and how shifty they are, I realize, okay, now her friend is a shifty one. That one I definitely do not want to be involved with. But now the other one, let me examine her a little bit more. So for some reason, I just stopped seeing her around this side of town. And then I think they probably stopped hanging out because they probably had went through a... Uh, um, uh, an argument of some sort that separated them but that's just my theory so then I seen her at the mall and I was walking from the movies and she was going down the elevator and we did lock eyes first she looked at me heavily and then I ended up looking at her and then I just kept walking and I was like whoa okay so then I seen where exactly where she worked I was like, all right now this gives me a chance to really examine her to see if I really want to pursue her or not so I'm gonna just hang out here every so often and really read read her so then earlier today she saw me sitting outside of her work and she got on her phone and she was sitting a little bit further to the left of me and I, I did want to talk to her and this is gonna this is gonna definitely 
I'm gonna jump to the conclusion. So, anyways, hey, I jumped to the conclusion. So she was talking loud as heck, and that was an obvious way for me to really examine if she if she was in ego consciousness or not, or or even in a somewhat mature consciousness. And most people who are in ego consciousness are still in a psychologically immature state. And listening to her conversation, there was nothing of a higher consciousness at all, nothing mature at all. And reading her energy, I'm like, oh my God. All of that beauty just went out the window as far as, I mean, she's still cute, but it's just that other aspect psychological aspect is not there and once i realized that in a woman i'm like oh man and i'm like nope not one not that one and then i just keep on going and now the other thing is um what the ego does it um for relationships i'm gonna say for relationships there when 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 it, it sees another individual when a person sees another individual in a relationship with someone that they were pursuing or anything like that, the ego will feel devastated and it'll have the person feeling devastated. It'll feel sad, even if not devastated, which devastated is a deep word. If not devastated, they'll make them feel sad or make them feel angry or anything like that. Like I said, jealousy deals with the ego consciousness. And that's why it's important for a person to understand higher consciousness and be psychologically mature so that they'll be able to deal with their ego and the emotions that it puts it in. So when I saw this female walking with another male, which I don't know, it could be her brother or it could be her boyfriend, boyfriend or whatever, or even cousin, something like that. But what my ego did when I saw her with with another individual, which in actuality, what I did was I told my spiritual helpers to confirm to me, find a time and a way to confirm to me if she's single or not. And you can do that. You can you can speak to the to the spirit side and and have them help you out. And you got to listen to them when they tell you to be at a certain place in time. And just sit there, and that's what it. That's what they did. I was downstairs. I was uh, upstairs. I was, I was like, "Where is the best place to go next?" So uh, I got this feeling to sit downstairs in the basement of the mall, sit right there, finish whatever it is I wanted to finish. And I was as I was typing, I just had this sudden urge to look up, and boom, there she was, walking, walking outside the door of the exit of the mall and then boom my ego went in and it, 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 it made me feel almost angry like oh shoot she with a man she with another with another man but then my higher consciousness i know not to allow my ego to make me feel sad about that because i already did my recon and made my decision that she's not one that i want to pursue now, if I was not on a psychologically mature level and did not know how to deal with my ego, I would have been sitting there running, walking around like, oh, she this, she that, she ain't all of that. And I start and your ego will start making excuses just because you seen her with another man or a woman seen the man that she wants with another female and yada 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 or in any other situation that the ego is unsuccessful at what it wanted to be successful at so for me i just ignored the the feelings that the ego was bringing me bringing me and within 15 to 20 minutes maybe 30 minutes it just faded out <laughs> it really just faded out and that's why when you're feeling in a negative way you have to stop and think about what is the best action to take or even if it's necessary to take an action sometimes it's best to just not do anything and if you're in a, a heated debate where you know that you might do or say something that is destructive to your situation then sometimes it's best to just sit there be quiet don't say anything but if you can walk away then walk away and cool off so that you can get outside of your ego consciousness and be able to think in a balanced 
from a balanced point of view, a balanced perspective. Because once you cool down and you get outside of your ego consciousness, I'm telling you, that is when you will be able to perceive things on a higher level and you'll be able to see things from a bigger picture, allowing your situation to progress. This is including your relationships. A lot of people's relationships are dysfunctional, number one, and then they break up, number two, due to all individuals or one or more individuals that are locked into their ego consciousness. This is why once you raise outside of your ego consciousness and you know how to do it and you know how to deal with your own ego, it is important for you to learn how to identify if an individual is mainly operating from their ego consciousness versus their higher spiritual consciousness, which is a conscious consciousness where people start to think before they just react, react. Your ego consciousness deals with reacting. It just reacts off of especially things that when situations are unsuccessful that it wants to be successful at. Just as I gave the example of the female that I was considering pursuing, but I was only pursuing her just because of her beauty. That's why I always prefer to do recon before I pursue a woman. And I, I usually prefer not pursuing a woman in public until I'm able to do some kind of recon to see if she's worth my pursuit. So I'm not like those guys who will pursue a woman in a a grocery store at the mall or anywhere like that because that's less likely time for me to be able to to do recon to see if she's worth it because your ego consciousness as i said is reactive so and especially living in this societal matrix it gets people to believe that a person their appearance is the end all be all and that they are worthy of being in a relationship just because of their beauty and it gets men to pursue women because of their beauty and it gets women to pursue or accept a man because of his handsome looks or cute looks or whatever like that so once i became into came into higher consciousness i started to think more but rather than just reacting because of woman looks beautiful and actually being in situations myself after I did pursue a woman because of her beauty and being in, in situations with her, that's when I realized that, okay, it's not about all about looks. It's definitely not. I learned my lesson and hopefully you all will learn your lesson too. And especially after you come outside of your ego consciousness. So the best way to come outside of your ego consciousness, I got to tell you, is to decrease your... TV time, your TV time, whatever it is, your satellite TV, cable TV, antenna TV, whatever reception that you're getting and you're watching, you have to decrease that to eventually cut that shit out and cut that thing out. Excuse my French. I'm trying to decrease my cursing because there's a lot of a variety of people here listening and I want to teach as many people as possible regarding personal development spirituality and also uh, relationships so um, the TV like I said that is the biggest poison and it's, it is highly destructive to the untrained mind once an individual comes into higher consciousness and they understand this ego consciousness the societal matrix and their emotions and how to bypass and control all of these things then it's different just like with me i completed a large amount of personal development work and now i can watch tv and avoid being negatively affected by what's on tv but at the same time i still balance my the amount of tv that i watch and i only watch it whenever i'm at somebody else's house I avoid, I've been cut out TV long time ago as far as cable TV and all of the external receptions, receptions. 
So for me, I can go weeks without watching TV and it does not even matter. And it took me probably about a month, maybe a month and a half, like years ago, after years of being so used to watching TV, it took me about a month and a half, maybe a little bit more to really get comfortable with not turning the TV on and not seeking it after, I, especially after I come in. Cause I used to, it used to be a habit, just like with my mother, she got us into the habit Yup, it definitely was my mother. She was a heavy TV watcher when we was younger, but then after a while, she used to tell us to stop watching TV and to read more. So now I read, well, I used to read more and I don't watch TV at all, but now my mother is the one that watches more TV than all of us. And she doesn't read as much. So that's why I was like, okay, so she's one of the ones that's in her ego consciousness already identified that and that's one of the reasons why I don't try to seek to have a higher meaningful relationship with my mother until she gets outside of her ego consciousness because her ego consciousness is keeping her trapped in self-denial when an individual is trapped in their self-denial it is extremely difficult to have a meaningful relationship with them because it's their Many times it is also their unresolved psychological issues that is sabotaging their relationship and it's causing them to behave in destructive ways that keeps them from contributing positively rather than negatively to to the relationship. You get it? You might have, you know what I'm talking about in your situations with your various situations relationships whether it be your family your friends your associates at work it's a lot of things that they're doing and saying that has been uh sabotaging various situations you have been in and it's largely because people are in their ego consciousness and the ego consciousness is just as similar as being in zombie mode They're unconscious of what they're doing and saying. And they don't realize all of the destructive mind programs, M-I-N-D, that they have in their mind. The societal beliefs that this societal matrix has them uh, trapped in. This is where personal development comes into play. Self-contemplation, self-analysis, and self-development moving your self-denial out of your out of the way really accepting the hard core facts that people have been saying about you the things that you need to work on and just accept it and just start working on them stop pushing them under the rug and saying oh i got this i got that oh uh, yeah i just deal with them and that's what a lot of people don't do and that's what the ego does it'll get people to sweep their mental issues and other unresolved issues under the rug thinking that because they have a car because they got a nice job and everything else that they're they're okay no Mm -mm. it's the psyche that people have to address first and foremost if they want to evolve themselves to a higher level psychologically and spiritually the other thing that i have is available and I'm going to close this out right now is I created a personal development subliminal video because I have a subliminal video service available to the public titled Neo Oneness Subliminals, which you can go and check out some of my other videos. I speak a lot about the mind and how it functions and also uh, the subliminals that societal society uses in the tv especially so it's the same process but i utilize it to help people with their personal development so you can start there also with your personal development if you need help i have a personal development video which is for 15 dollars, and it is certainly worth it it'll help people do better self uh, contemplation And it'll help them identify psychologically what they need to remove from their life and um, what they need to improve on. And it'll also help people with having much more mature thoughts and a mature outlook of life so that they can start making higher mature 
um, decisions, wise decisions, rather than being in ego consciousness, which is an automatic mode and being directed by their societal beliefs, which which societal beliefs are not necessarily beneficial, which the majority of them are not beneficial to an individual. So that link will all my links will be in the description section. So make sure you check out the description section. You can also get a custom personal development video or even a custom subliminal video in general that is starting at $60 in general. Well, no, actually at $5, but then I have a $60 one and I have a $100 one. Or you can go start off with the standard personal development video at 15. So check out the links in the description section. Thank you very much for listening. Like, comment, definitely definitely share this with anyone you feel might be interested. Share this link and share it on your social network pages. Hit the subscribe button if you want more information like this, including personal development, relationship, and also spiritual activity set, uh, information. Make sure you click the bell button, the bell icon, so that you can get email updates whenever I update new videos. Thank you very much, and until next time. Greetings and peace, everyone. Do you currently need a website? Web design is a very tedious process for a variety of people, and a lot of people do not want to sit around and create a website for themselves. Well, I can help you with my Neo Oneness web design. You can go ahead and check out the description section for my link.